there's a lot of uh, people who go on the internet and they read all kinds of things and right now there's a lot of controversy about stem cell research. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I think this is one of the biggest scams uh, that's going around right now. Stem cells in theory are actually quite, uh, is quite solid science. As we are created, uh, we are a single, you know, we're two cells and those cells somehow become eyes, ears, noses, uh, you know, neuro neurologic uh, things. So the thought is if we, can, if we can get some of those stem cells, we can put them in a place where something has been damaged and it will grow a new, for instance, spine or spinal cord or something like that. And that's actually a good theory. And, uh, but right now, you know, you can buy stem cells online. You can, you can go, there's a huge scam. You can go to the Caribbean and get them to, to put stem cells in you and all these things. Certain things that the public needs to know about stem cells. One, uh, they're not easy to get, okay? Stem cells just aren't around everywhere, okay? You have to, you have to get a stem cell. That means a very early embryonic uh, type cell. Uh, fat, fat cells are, are felt to be sort of like stem cells, and that's a different situation. But, but true stem cells are hard to get, so not your corner guy is going to have them, okay? And when they do have them, it's, it's enormously expensive. Finally, uh, the other thing to know about stem cells is that research is very early. And uh, so this theory that, you know, hey, we're going we're gonna to put some cells somewhere and they'll create a spinal cord or something like that is a lot like saying, hey, I'm going to throw a bunch of bricks in a pile, okay, and maybe some tubing and some sheetrock and it will build a house, okay? Mm -hmm. Trust me that building a house is a lot less complicated than building a spinal cord, all right? So when people go and, uh, you know, they're going to buy a tube with stem cells in it. Those are, you know, if there are even stem cells in there, which is highly unlikely, okay? And then even if there were in there, if they just apply them to the, somehow to their skin, it is highly unlikely it would do any good whatsoever. It is very important for the public to be aware of this scam. It's actually illegal in the United States to do those kind of things, but you can get things for, on the Internet or through Canada. I was recently in Italy just driving down the road, and there was a sign, you know, stem cells. You know, you can come get stem cells at some, some esthetician place, you know, not even a doctor's wow. office. So a, a total scam and uh, not to be uh, fooled by that. In fact, it can be even dangerous. I had a patient, had a problem. She had endometriosis. She, you know, went to the Caribbean. Somehow these cells were going to go in through her bloodstream, find her endometriosis, and somehow cure it. Of course, that didn't happen. Oh, wow. But she spent thousands of dollars. That did happen. And I read a report that someone else had done it for cellulite, and they ended up with 104 fever. Yeah. Well, you know, who knows what, if people are injecting things into you, uh, who knows what exactly they're injecting, you know? I mean, for one thing, the stem cells that are being used have to be very carefully controlled. Bye. Bye. Well, thank you for that information. So your last uh, bit of advice is? Right now, stay away from stem cells. Thank you. For more information or to schedule a free consultation, call 702-838-2455 or email Dr. Smith at smithsurgery at aol.com.